guys, welcome to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Today, I am once again way up in the mountains and I am chasing after some pre-spawn brook trout. Um, I've never fished here. Micah, who is over there yonder, he's walking this way right now. Um, he's never fished here, so fishing a brand new creek, never been here before. We know there's brook trout in here. Um, we've caught a few, nothing crazy. We're hiking up further to try to see if we can't find some bigger brook trout. But the leaves are changing. It's gorgeous up here. I'm standing in a spruce forest and it's just like, it's heaven. It's literally trout fishing heaven. Now if we can just find some really good trout, the day would be like perfect. But anyway, we're gonna get fishing here and hopefully catch some awesome fish for you guys. Got one. Not, not a terrible fish. I've for sure seen smaller. Oh. Wet your hands before you handle these precious little monkeys. Mega giant. Only one way to find out, isn't there? Yep. He was on that side, actually. There it is. Just a little. <laughs> See, wait, I better catch another one out of there, especially towards the head where that before that log or stick goes in the water. Oh yeah. My guys, Mikey got stuck and was like, "Hey, there's fish in here." And he wasn't wrong. <laughs> Oh God, I just spooked the big one. It's right here, I see him now. I mean, he's spooked and I'm watching, I'm looking at him and he's gone. Oh no, no, he's still sitting there. I mean, he's like 10 inches, he's a male, he's got a kite. I'm watching him, he's literally sitting right here in front of me. I mean, he's spooked now. Well, I mean, they're in here, dude, they're in here. I just, this is just tough fishing, it's just tough. And literally I'm watching, I'm looking at a 10 inch, close to 10 inch male brook trout. Chilling like a villain, dude. Every time I move, shift my feet, he spooks. Like he moves. I'll have to kind of sneak up this and see where I spook. Like if I spook any other bigger fish in here or what. Cause he's not like mega giant. He's a nice fish, but he's not huge. Yeah. Oh my, there's a really big one. There's a bigger one. Oh my God, he's bright. He's coming your way. Look down in the water. Can you see the water? They're all coming down here. There's like four or five of them and they're big. There's big ones. Like there's one that's, what? No, there's definitely one over 10 and it's a male and it's colored up. I see it again. I mean, they're spooked, dude. You're not gonna catch them. Stuck in a tree, but I got one. Come on, Mr. Brookie. Not very big. Or colorful. Or really anything. Bye, my friend. Bye, my friend. continued up the creek and we just weren't catching the fish that we thought we should have been able to catch 
and it wasn't just because we weren't catching fish, but we were also literally seeing the fish that we weren't able to catch. So what we did is we backed out of that creek and decided to hit some other creeks in the area that we knew should have trout in them. We found a few creeks that had some fish, but it just wasn't that good, or the fish were so few and far between that it just wasn't worth our time. And then we finally found this really tiny creek that we could pretty much jump across, and for whatever reason, it had a ton of brook trout in it. to do this without getting stuck. Yep. That is... I'm impressed. I mean, that fish is barely... I don't even know if he's born in the... My gosh, that thing's tiny. I've caught minnows bigger than that. I have to. Yes. It's probably why he's up here. Well, I don't disagree with that, but did they jump it or do they? Big one. Biggin. Biggin, biggin. Net. Oh. Yes, sir. Get, get in the net, get in the net. And it's wow. Big. She is full of eggs. Look at her, dude. Fatty. Fatty, fatty, fatty. Can you chill out for a second, my darling? That's a that's a small creek mega giant right here. Absolutely. I'm not a cast back in there, it might be a big old male. Look how that whole thing's undercut on this side. I, was, I literally caught her at the back end of the hole. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's my small creek, mini creek mega giant. Can you chill out for a second, my darling? Look at her. I mean, for a creek this size, it's pretty impressive. You see how big she looks in that water, though? I thought I hooked like a 10 inch, dude. Not quite 10. She's probably eight, or close to it. Yeah, seven, eight. Like seven and a half, eight. But still, I thought you were... For this size of creek? Why am I, look what I'm doing. I don't have the dang thing. Where did you get this net clip from? Catch me? I get Fairmont? I think so. I, I got mine in a shop at Fairmont. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, this is kind of like, typically what happens when you go out and brook trout fish. Um, especially when you're fishing like new-ish water, a new area, is you go out and you fail and then you fail again and then you maybe fail a third or fourth time and sometimes you never really truly succeed. Um, you always catch a few fish when you're brook trout fishing, at least if you're in the right general area, but it doesn't always have to be big fish and they could just be few and far between period. So this particular day we didn't catch a ton of fish but the views and just where we were fishing and the leaves changing colors and everything like that. I mean, it just didn't get much better just as a day to just be in the woods, be in the mountains. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And this is kind of like the last video I have that I filmed like in September slash the beginning of October. I haven't personally filmed a video in like two to three weeks now. So <laughs> yeah. Hopefully next week I'm going to get out and film a video whether it be musky or for some stock trout and have some actual like new up to date content for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you on the next episode.